I'm Ari Swanser, and I'm going to say it. Sex work stigma. You think you're better than a sex worker? Why? Aren't you jerking off to their porn? Don't you pay for their OnlyFans? Or just for fans? Or private pages? And today's guest is Plant Daddy, good friend of mine, and one name porn star, Chirac. Get in here. <laughs> I'm Chirac. Hi, baby. Wow, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Well, you look fantastic. Thank you. So do you. So tell us about yourself, Chirac. Where are you from? I am born and raised in LA. Both my parents are from Iran. But I've lived like I've lived in Hawaii, I've lived in Thailand, I've like lived all over Los Angeles. How many languages do you speak? I speak English, I speak okay Spanish, I speak Farsi, and I speak okay Thai. Work, bitch. <laughs> I was like, not the sneak attack Thai. <laughs> well, I had to learn when I lived there, you know. How long did you live there for? I was there for a year. Oh, wow. I had to. There was nobody that I hung out with who spoke English, so it was either signing, sign language, or um, I had to, like, learn. Say, so do you know sign language? No, as in, like, okay, I was, as like, in, like, what is I was like, that's the other language? Yeah, the like, other language. It's not like literally sign language. Work. Okay. Yeah. Where's your favorite place you've ever been? I gotta say, when I lived on Maui, I really loved how peaceful it was and um, how untouched parts of the islands were. Can I guess that it had to do with the vegetation? It definitely had to do with the flora and the fauna. The flora <laughs> and the fauna. Uh, yeah, mostly the flora. <laughs> what is your favorite plant? In general. Yeah, you have to have a favorite. You know you have a favorite to work with. I'll tell you my favorite genus of plant. Okay. Um, it would be philodendron. Why? Just because I'm fascinated with the way that they grow. Um, some of them are terrestrial. Some of them are epiphytes. Some of them climb. Some of them crawl. Um, some of them have leaves that are bigger than me. They're really cool. I always looked up to adult entertainers, even as when I was younger. And I started going out to West Hollywood when I was 16, and I would get into clubs because I already had a beard. I already had a little bit of chest hair and a beard. I swear, the Abbey I used to get into, I don't know if you remember Here Lounge. I remember Here Lounge. I remember Here Lounge. Yeah. So I used to be able to get into Here Lounge, and then if they wouldn't let me in, in the alley in between, what is it now, Pump and the Chapel, mm -hmm. um, I used to climb the fence because I used to be Here Lounge. So I would jump over the fence into there, and sometimes I'd get thrown out. Sometimes the dog park in the back. Yes, there was yeah. a dog park then. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I'm old. Um, so anyway. I'm also old. <laughs> I'm older than you. I think I'm older than you. No, you're not. I'll leave Chirac. I'm not so <laughs> <laughs> Older. We'll bleep it out. <laughs> um, but, well, the reason I bring that up okay. is because I would see um, go-go boys and guys, I guess, who kind of were like on the fringes of sex work and in the industry. And I was also doing sex work at that time. So when I turned 18, I did my first porn. Like, literally, I turned 18 in August. By October, I did my first porn. There weren't any real, like, Middle Eastern guys who looked like me doing porn. It was very, like, white and hairless and, like, jock. Or so, very white and hairless for many, many yeah. years. And so I didn't watch it. <laughs> yeah, unless you're watching, like, amateur stuff, which I still watch to this day. Oh, amateur stuff is... <laughs> like my OnlyFans. Oh, my <laughs> <laughs> oh, plug your OnlyFans right here. This is the audience. <laughs> yeah, like <this>. oh. <laughs> You'll get your money's worth, and then some. Uh, I have a question, because I think it's a good question, and it's a little shady. Uh-oh. What's the difference between a porn star and a porn actor? I can answer that. Is that shady? Shady? <laughs> is there a shady? Shady? I don't know. I can answer it. <laughs> okay, you answer it. Okay, so porn star. Oh, boards. Oh, my God. <laughs> porn actor? I don't know who that is. <laughs> like, I don't know who that is. Like, but yeah, so porn stars? Um, I don't know. I don't know, actually. What the difference is. I think you do know. I think you're being really cool right now. Let's talk about your awards. Yes. Uh, Which one are you most proud of? I think Best Newcomer, actually. Uh, the Grabbies. I think I'm nominated now for Best Body, Best Daddy, Best Cock, um, Best Top, and... I forgot. Sorry, Grabbies. But it's just another one I don't rather would love you. And then I won recently at the Gabe Yen Awards, which is in Vegas. Um, I won uh, Best Three Way and I won Best Supporting Actor. Is Kathy Griffin still hosting that one? No, she she hosted the Straight Up Gay Porn Awards. Okay. Did you get any of them? I did not. Honestly, like like I said, I did a porn when I was 18 years old and it wasn't, obviously didn't get a lot of um, attention for it. I got a lot of attention out on the streets of West Hollywood, but when it came to like studio porn, they weren't having us yet. So now coming into like, there's only me and Arad 
really, as as far as like Iran. Oh, Arad win win. Arad win win. Yeah. And he was before I was, and he's and he's also Iranian. Um, so we're like the only two in the industry. So it's like really great to be recognized. And yeah. That. How have um, all the fan sites changed your perspective on the adult film industry? Like, do you just kind of like when someone calls and they're like, "Do you want to shoot?" You're like, "Ugh." I sort of want to stay home and just do it myself. <laughs> yeah, well, um, I it has definitely given me more freedom to be more authentic with myself because in the studio you're not you're not um, always doing what actually uh, feels good or what is what you're into. There's definitely a, spa- a place for studio porn, and it definitely gets our names out there, and we become porn stars. Mm-hmm. Stars. Um, the freedom that we have with make, creating our own content is very um, liberating. Let's get racy. What's your favorite position? It's just like classic missionary. Oh, work. Honestly, like the, I know it sounds boring, or maybe just the name is boring, but like being able to have my hand like behind the back of the neck, holding it, and like looking at them and being kissing them. There's nothing beats that. Like you can't beat that. Let's do it now. <laughs> <laughs> I used to like doggy style, but no, I like the eye contact. Oh, someone's maturing. I <laughs> agree. This is what when you get older. Yeah. Yeah, you need eye contact when you get older. It's absolutely true. <laughs> it's like, so, yeah, it's a missionary. So, what's something about you that nobody knows that you'd like all of your viewers and fans to know? I'm actually pretty shy and I'm a pretty, I'm pretty reserved in real life. I think because you are on so many screens people are only going to take the two-dimensional part of you and so that's why i wanted to ask that question because they need to realize you're a fully realized person like you're an actual whole person on your own outside of production yeah or what you choose to show them on only fan and so he's shy and a virgo and a virgo. And single and <laughs> that's what i like about instagram though because i feel like i can show a little bit more of who I am and my personality. So it's not just like sex all the time. I get to show the plants. I get to show the animals. I get to show my bird. It's like, oh my God. Yeah. Shirag, the relationship with his bird. Please talk about this. I have a little dove named Juju. And Juju in Farsi means like little chick, like baby bird. I don't, that's actually what it, I raised Juju from a chick. I hand raised her. So she is completely attached to me. She thinks I'm her boyfriend or her, her, Mom, I don't know. She's a little. She all. All I know is she's always wants to be on me. She's a little diamond though. She's like this big. Um, yeah, and she's like my shadow. I have to like watch out not to step on her as I'm like. Yeah, she's she's like, all your little FaceTime notes always. She's always right there, like, like literally right there. Like as soon as I and she because she grew up with me and I'm like on my phone a lot, especially during quarantine. She would um, to get my attention, fly and sit right on my phone and like just stare at me. And I'm like, girl, like I don't get off. My dog does that. She goes right. Wherever my phone line is. See, they know. Oh, did, did you ever try to eat um, the roaches? Why do you have to bring up the roaches? You know I had to bring up. Why? You got to bring up the roaches. <laughs> it's embarrassing. So I have geckos, and geckos eat insects. I bought Madagascar hissing roaches, the biggest species of roach, I think, in the world. They're like three, in, three or four inches. Their babies are good food for geckos. So I was breeding ge- these things to feed the geckos. You're like a perfect example of not all gays. Like, not all gays hate bugs. <laughs> not all gays hate bugs. <laughs> so, Shirak. Yes. Am I pronouncing your name correctly? Yeah, Shirak. In Farsi, it's Shah Shafok. Shah? Shaf Ruch. Ruch. Yeah, but I just say Shirak. Or Shaf Ruch. Damn. I'm not American. <laughs> like, That's like, why I'm like, so bad. It. Like, the, 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 the bad kind. Uh, so, y'all like, can. Quesadilla. Quesadilla. Shah, like king. Shah Ruch. Ruch. Shah Ruch. Shah Ruch. There you go. I did it. Okay, thank you. Got it. So I had to get it once. <laughs> that is ghetto. But no, Chirac. <laughs> okay. I feel like white trash. We're going to play a game called They Can Get It. Okay. Okay, and it's about someone that is not like on any top 10 list of being hot that you think is super hot and just underrated. I was in love with um, Benicio Del Toro. I was introduced to him in the movie Traffic. Yeah, it won the Oscar that year, though. I think it did, and it was a really yeah. good movie. I saw it in the movie theaters. But anyway. Yeah. I think it um, broke back Mountain, which was controversial. Did it? Yeah. With Jake Gyllenhaal, too. Is he on the top ten list? He was. <laughs> he was once upon a time. Those eyelashes. How about now? Eyebrows. He's good looking. He's cute. He's yeah. got, like, this, like, quirky kind of cuteness. Yeah, he's good looking. Like. And Benicio del Toro was hot. Smoking hot. 
Yeah, he was hot when he was younger too. Even now, I mean, he's he's matured uh, into an older man, but he's still he's still handsome. Okay, I think. Yeah, you sound reluctant to call him handsome. He's a <laughs> well, yeah, he, um, I I think maybe he didn't moisturize enough or <laughs> smoked too many cigarettes. I don't know, but anyway, he's still hot. Sorry, Benicio. I yeah, was still... vitamin E oil is your friend, everyone. Just the case. Damn, I got to know. I do. I know. Yeah. Been, I am covered in oil right now. <laughs> yeah, but let's talk about dating. Okay. So in dating, since you're single, what are your deal breakers? Like, what are your non-negotiables? Like, will not no. They have to be kind, <laughs> and I mean like kind, like around everybody. I've been with people who, let's say, we go on a date to a restaurant or something, and they're rude to wait staff. Wait staff. That I find is like a very big red flag for me. I maybe won't say anything in the moment unless it gets out of hand, but I'll just be like, hey. They're just not going to work. Yeah. Um, no, you don't say it then. You just, you know, you get the check. Just like noted. Yeah, you're like, <laughs> never going to do this with you again. Yeah. Deal breaker. Deal yeah. maker. That's it. Yeah. And also just like people who take care of themselves like physically and mentally okay. too. Like taking care of your mental health is like really sexy to me. So yeah, I think you have to be compatible lifestyle wise. Yeah. And so like if I'm dating a guy who always wants to go to McDonald's, I'm never going to McDonald's with you. Yeah. I'm never going to go. I'm never going to steal your fries. I don't want that smell in my car. I can understand if it's not compatible with what your vibe is, because then the vibe changes. So if that's not your vibe, it's like, well, we don't really fit anymore. Totally. Yeah. And they're hungover, and it's like, I don't want to do stuff. And it's like, you know, let's go. Let's, you know, you want to hike. hike. I want to go hike. Take a ridge, Liz and shit. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, sorry, I'll never forget that story of yours. Which one? That hiking story. And you, there was this giant tarantula, and you're like, isn't she beautiful? And I was like, Bleh. Oh, on Instagram. Yes. You remember that? Yes, it was terrifying. Uh, no. I will never forget that because I didn't know that tarantulas lived wild where I live. Yes, they're they're wild. They're native to Southern California. Right? That is terrifying. One species of them. So at Runyon, I've seen rattlesnakes there. I've seen like other species of snakes this there. That's why I won't hike. I'm like, I'm people don't. I'll take you. No, no. no I'll take Dan. The hike. level of black I am. That's a hell no, bro. <laughs> That's just a solid hell no. I'm like, put myself in danger <laughs> for fun. <laughs> Absolutely not. I never bungee jumping, skydiving, hiking wrap oh, you up in a, in like bubble wrap, and I'll take you to this really cute hike. That sounds very uncomfortably hot. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know, and way less kinky than I wanted from you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. Um. So we're going to play one last game. Okay. And it's called Let's Get You an Endorsement. Work. I like this game. Yeah. So, who do you think? should be endorsing you you use their product so much or you love it so much that they should just be throwing money or free product at you uber lube were have you heard of uber lube it sounds like not a driving service it comes in a really cute glass bottle and you can like have it on your bed nightstand it's very like thick it's silicone it works like amazing especially for somebody who is circumcised we need a good lube i would do a little jingle like uber lube <laughs> support chirac too <laughs> <laughs> there you go. If Uber Lube is listening, I love your lube, and it's great for intercourse, which I do a lot of. So I would love an endorsement. Let's do another one. Another, another one. Another one. I'm also a big fan of cock rings. I'm wearing a boneyard cock ring right now. So anyway, show it keeps I. things <laughs> like. Do I? Should not. Rock. <laughs> yes. Use my platform. What would you like to plug of your own? By OnlyFans. Dot com slash the Chirac. Also, you can find me on Twitter at the Chirac. Oh, oh my God, here, real hug. Okay, real hug. Oh, I'm oh, you ah, I was like an old woman hunching, but I didn't want to get out of frame. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, give a hug. <laughs> oh, thank you for coming. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I'll have you back on. Yeah, please, anytime. I know we have cut. <laughs> no, we have cut. There we go. But okay, um, I like it uncut. Yeah, <laughs> I heard it here. Probably not first. <laughs> <laughs> what I do? Yes, I popped that.